He created the heavens and the earth truthfully. He rose the night over the day and rose the day over the night. He committed the sun and the moon, each running for a finite period. Absolutely, he's the Almighty, the forgiving. So rolling, that tells us the earth is not flat as they long time ago they taught. You cover. It says, خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ بِالْحَقِّ يُكَوِّرُ اللَّيْلَ عَلَى النَّهَارِ وَيُكَوِّرُ النَّهَارَ عَلَى اللَّيْلِ So it means that Rolls. they roll it. وَسَخَّرَ الشَّمْسَ وَالْغَمَرِ كُلٌّ يَجْرِي لِأَجَلٍ مُسَمَّا أَلَا هُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْقَفَّا سُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ Surah 79, chapter 79, verse 30 He made the earth act shape. It's in chapter 79, verse 30. It says, mm -hmm. Means that he made the earth egg-shaped. Mm -hmm. sure. Noka, do you have any comments? Or? Um, I was just thinking that um, relating to six, uh, this is Surah 76, the human, God mm -hmm. said, it is not the fact that there was a time when the human being was nothing to be mentioned. We created the human from a liquid mixture from two parents in order to test him. Thus we made him a hearer and a seer. We showed him the two paths, then he is either appreciative or unappreciative. Verse 13, uh, we just read 39.6. This is a theme throughout the Quran and I'll read some verses uh, from Surah 10 that God is not introduced as something that is separate from the world. God is introduced as the Lord of the world. In the Quran, God is not sought in the exceptions, but in the rule. 1031, it says, as this is Surah 10, verse 31. It says, say, who provides for you from the heaven and the earth? Who controls all the hearing and the eyesight? Who produces the living and the dead, and the dead from the living? Who is in control of all things? They would say, God. Say, why then do you not observe the commandments? In other words, where have you gone wrong? Why are you unaware? Surah 42 Al-Shura, which is consultation, mm -hmm. uh, verse 21. They follow idols who decree for them religious laws never authorized by God. If it were not for the predetermined decision, they would have been judged immediately. Indeed, the transgressors have incurred a painful retribution. So if you set up idols besides God, or you think that you have chosen people who are closer to God than you are, and you idolize them, God here says um, they have uh, de they decree religious laws that, that was never authorized by God. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we, we have one source to refer to, and that's the Quran. Um, and we're capable of doing it directly. We do not need an intercessor. Uh, verse 92 says, Your congregation is but one congregation, and I alone am your Lord. You shall worship me alone. Uh, so this is what unites us. Everybody, all religions believe in God, God as, as their God. And what causes divisions, we see in the, in the next verse, it says, However, they divided themselves into disputing religions, all of them will come back to us for judgment. In other words, what unites everyone, all of us, all humans in the world, is that we all worship God. We all seek to worship God. As an idol, it doesn't have to be statue or prophet. It could be other things. I like to see what everybody uh, think of. What could be our idol? Sometimes we don't even know. Exactly. Before that, you know, from my childhood, I was reading Quran, but all in Arabic without knowing the meaning. Some part, you know, meaning but rest, most of it I didn't know. But when I read the Quran, the word shirk, uh, I said, okay, I'm not mushrik, I'm not idol worship. So because I'm worshiping God and I'm reading Quran, I'm not mushrik. So I was thinking that these verses is not mine. I am not, it's, God is not talking to me. But after that, that I know that what is, who is mushrik, who is idol worship, then it came to my mind that at that time I was Moshrik without knowing. I didn't know that because I was asking help from the other other people. Other even even though they were dead, I was asking help from dead prophet or saint. They were very good people, but they are in the paradise next to God. They are, they can hear me, 
but I thought that they can help me. I thought that they are always alive. I mean, I give al hayyul Qayyum, that it's God's specific uh, uh, what is attribute, attribute to the people, to the dead people. I thought that they are alive and they can hear me. So at that time now, thank God that he guided me and I know that if I call them, if I ask help from them, I am doing uh, idol worship. <laughs>